Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button, bell so that we can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in the comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. Like I said in today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into when we're talking about this Black China situation that she has going on with her baby father's tiger in particular. And also the situation that was going on with this Miss Pinky doll from her showing up at the Shreams or the Shreemy Awards and people just now seeing what kind of color now she Black is. Black China is going after Tiger for child support and Tiger had a funny little saying to say to her is that after 10 years, Nah, you can stick with the same schedule you have or something to that aspect. Because I believe that China only has uh, their son Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The guy, uh, Tiger, and both Rob have the same schedule. Um, so she has the children basically the weekend. And they have the children Tuesday through uh until they drop them off on Saturday. So they have them for four days and she has them for three. Now, what I want to say is this. You know the pictures and the videos and her being in the public eye and going on baddies to do a judging and stuff like that every time we see her drop some photos on her instagram and she's you know showing this brand and this and this and this when you're showing us pictures like this and you've shown off your house and been done a whole bunch of other things it's kind of hard for me to see why these guys will need to pay you any type of child support and for you to only have the two children for three days a week out of the whole week and the guys have them for four days a week you don't need any child support from these guys now if she's having a hard time with paying for things she does need to get rid of a house uh i'm not sure how many homes that she has but if she only has that one big one it's only you you know you three um allegedly you can just move down to a three bedroom or something that costs less than the home that you have so that way you can definitely you know, save some money and put some money away for those kids for a rainy day and continue to take care of them like how you need to. It's not fair for Rob Kardashian or for Tyga to have to come and to give her child support when they have the children for most of the days throughout the week and they've been taking care of these kids these kids have not been slacking from either one of the fathers whatsoever the fathers are the main reason why these kids are doing what they got to do now granted she's make her money and does what she has to do but if you're not no longer making as much money as you was once before because you're not doing what you was before then you shouldn't take it upon yourself to go after these men to try to get them for their now dollars. these men i don't think should have to be accounted for her and be taking care of extra you know monies because she's only have the children three days a week if you have the children for three days a week and the other men have the children for four days a week i don't understand why they have to pay you child support for these children when they're already doing the more for the you know the children rob has come out and said that he's paying for you know um you know medical expenses for the child he pays for the tuition for the child you know with the school that him and angela's daughter goes to and tyga is taking the child with him everywhere he goes on the road when he's performing and stuff like that and also as well taking care of this child's uh schooling and whatever else he needs so i don't understand why she would think that she would be awarded to get any type of money now like i said if she has a problem with some you know she's having financial hardship then she needs to turn in a few of those cars and maybe she needs to downgrade her home but other than that i don't think that these men should have to pay for anything pertaining to the children when they're already doing that and more now moving on to the famous TikToker pinky doll and what happened when she showed up at the streamy awards now, pinky doll is a famous tiktoker who recently with him me finding out she blew up from doing you know being a you know the robot people the ai people and she was doing these videos and doing different little things and people i guess send you money and send you gifties that you can turn into money so she talks about how much money she's made off of this when she at one point she was making six thousand to seven thousand dollars a day off of doing these special TikToks. Um, but she recently got some scrutiny because she showed up to a streaming award show. And I guess people didn't realize that in reality, she's not as light as she has been 
on her TikTok videos. She does use a filter to make her lighter, but in reality, she's darker. Now, if you were a real fan of hers, and I don't know, maybe it's just me. If I follow you on Instagram, then I'm pretty much probably following you on your YouTube and on, you know, if I'm watching you enough on TikTok, whatever, you know, I'm basically following you on all platforms. So I don't understand how the people on TikTok didn't understand that she was really a darker shade. It's like, did you guys never go to her Instagram? And the people who are on the Instagram, like, are you guys watching her TikToks and seeing like the difference in the shade? A lot of people are also saying that she made herself lighter so that way she can gain more people and more attraction and get more money because um, they feel like light skin, you know, and people of different ethnicities than African American would gain way more money and gain subscribers way faster than if she went on there as her normal compl complexion. Now, I haven't taken a chance to look at her TikTok um, page to see what all's on there, but I've seen her Instagram page, and her Instagram page shows her clear as day. You can tell that she's a dark-skinned woman, and she probably did use a filter in some pictures because she is light in some of the pictures, and then, of course, she has her TikToks up on her where you can see that she's obviously really a very great shade amount lighter than what she normally is, but... I mean, I don't technically see anything wrong with this because technically we're living in a boozy, fake AI world anyways, and people are getting paid to do this. And if she's going to be, you know, acting like she's a robot and getting paid for it, why not change her color? You know, if she wanted to do that and she felt like that was helping her get the money that she was trying to get, then go ahead and do it. People change their stuff all the time. It's not just makeup and stuff like that. People use filters all the freaking time. And no, it's not a... You know, a lot of people want you to to see how you really look. But if you're really a follower of her and a fan, then you wouldn't have been shocked when she showed up to the streaming awards. You would have seen already on her Instagram and of some old stuff of her that, yes, she has been a little shaded darker. And that she's probably just doing this just so that way she can, you know, make some money a little bit easier. Y'all drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm going to catch you on the next video respectfully.